Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we are here to create a tutorial for Rainbow Crafticari and uh, as you all know the new term has begun and we have a great new team and this month we've uh, started our challenges and we have a fun color palette with the theme of love to go for uh, the April challenge. Uh, the colors range from a very burgundy, uh, violet, all the way to a baby pink to a cream. So just going to be playing with those colors and uh, creating a journal page. Uh, the theme here incorporated is love for art, love for craft, as well as love for journaling as such and the colors. So today we'll be using the gel press. Uh, for this we are using the gel press plate which is the 8 by 10 inches plate and this comes on a layer of acrylic sheet sandwiched between two acrylic sheets so just taking out one and keeping this aside some ivory paper so this would be the journal page itself we would also keep some scrap paper so that any excess paint can be lifted on this and then later you can use this for another background apart from that uh, we'll be using this mixed media stencil from 13 arts titled bubbles as well as a finnaware stencil uh, which is a 7 by 9 element elementals grungy grid stencil so these are the two stencils that we'll be using now for the paint uh, we're going to use dilutions paint and I'm just going to read out the shades. So this is white linen, melted chocolate, cherry pie, pure sunshine, pomegranate seed, funky fuchsia and bubblegum pink. So a combination of these to get the color. Apart from that we need a water misting bottle. So this is just a plain spray bottle filled with water. And as we go along, we'll grab a few more supplies to add to the layer, layers. So the first step is to begin with our gel press plate. Now just starting with the lightest shade. So we don't have a ready uh, cream color. And for that, I'm just going to mix some white with brown and pure sunshine yellow just to get that sort of creamy color and I'll directly do it on the plate so for that first using my finger I'm just going to randomly add some white paint and then a little bit of the yellow and brown and just mist it with water and sort of blend it all so this will also give us a very watercolorish background for our first layer then just keeping the paper and rubbing a brayer on the back to lift the color and that's our first layer that we've got so like I said there's a lot of color here so using the scrap paper you can always lift the remaining color for a background to be used at a later date you can clean the plate with the help of a wet wipe so that uh, the colors stand out and you don't get a very muddy effect it's always good to dry between layers so after the plate is just clean we can quickly get our first layer dried now with that done time to add some of the pink tones so again in a very same way 
let's just add a few colors the white sort of blends everything together and gives it a really nice look so the same procedure like the first time here we've taken two shades of pink and then a little bit of white and just rub it all together to blend it So with that we have our colors beautifully on the background so you can see we have lighter tones of the pink darker tones and the cream standing up and for another next layer we're just going to add another shade of darker pink so just lifting this off onto the second piece of paper Now this time because it's all pink anyway, I'll directly go in adding the shade without cleaning. So here I'm just adding the fuchsia color which will bring about the darker tone to our palette. And slight pomegranate seed which is like the darkest burgundy in the palette. So here more or less I've ended up using all the colors on the challenge palette. The background layers are all dried up and all we need to do is add some more texture with the stencils and for this I'm just going to end up uh, sticking to using plain white color paint because that will just highlight everything in the background. So keeping the stencil on the gel press plate I'm going to add some of the white paint and I'll just rub it with the brayer so we have a nice stencil design on the plate. So lifting the stencil off I'm going to lift this design now on the journal page. So there we have that pattern now onto the page and it breaks the entire monotony and the colors also pop up. So I'm just going to do a little more of whatever is left over at the bottom so same way just using the other stencil for a little more texture so that way we have some nice design texture on our background so that is now done and let's quickly just clean up the plate set this aside our work with the gel press is done and we'll now go in with some other elements next let's do some background stamping so we're just using some finnebear background stamps stays on black ink and archival ink in deep purple color for the stamping so beginning with the first Stamp. and this is going to be very random there is no set pattern it's just to further add some colors some texture and depth to a page and next 
next just picking a white uni ball pen to add some doodling just sort of highlight a few areas again just something very very random nothing set over here using these distress crayons seedless preserves and fossilized amber to sort of highlight colors here and there so for the focal element uh, we're using these uh, Kaiser Craft Collectibles, the Oolala collection and just picked out this doily which would go with our color scheme and we had this laser cut butterfly in our stash so that and a butterfly from this collectibles collection so that would make some great elements for the layering and then all we need is a sentiment, a quote or a phrase to complete the page so Using some tacky glue, let's get our elements down in place. So using uh, Tim Holtz small talk stickers, uh, let's add some phrase to the page. So since it's all about love for art and everything so creativity takes courage and i just want to make nice things so these two perfectly go with uh, the mood of this journal page so adding that and then using some black uni ball pen to outline the stickers so that just gives it a nice edge and makes it all pop up so over here like you can see on this page we've not done anything three dimensional it just made sense to have everything flat yet have so many layers and everything looks unique as well as blended with that done the page is now complete and probably we can also outline this doily with the black pen so with that done our journal page is complete and you can see how easy it was to put this all together um, with minimal elements and minimal products so hoping that you enjoyed this tutorial and looking forward to seeing your uh, creations as well and do share them with us feel free and looking forward to your participation in the month's challenge all the details are on the rainbow craftikari blog so do participate to win some amazing prizes and to be featured and apart from that watch out the entire month for some great inspirations great tutorials by new team members so until the next time take care and bye bye